Hello everyone! Welcome to 2023 family meeting! Yay! If this is your first family meeting on this channel, every year we come together as a family and talk about what happened on this channel the year before. So for this one, we're going to talk about what happened on this channel in year 2022. What you guys liked, what I uploaded, yeah, the way I received what you like. And uh, yeah, I will also talk about other things. I'll do recommendations. I'll talk about my beliefs, you know, what happened on this channel and what didn't happen and what I'm dropping and what I'm not dropping. So this meeting is for viewers, every kind of viewer, including casual viewers, people that view to learn something or be entertained. Also, people that are viewers as well as YouTubers, they will also have a channel where they upload content. So yeah, I'll start by saying thank you all my viewers for your contributions on this channel by way of your comments, your stories, your tips. Yeah, you share your stories with me all the time on this channel in the comment section. And believe it or not, your contributions have helped steer this channel on this journey all these years for the past 12 years can you believe that 12 years on youtube is unbelievable yeah that has only been possible because of you guys i'm pretty sure that i would have given up on this channel long ago if not for your contributions your contributions have helped me immensely to work smart on this channel rather than work hard I just need to upload a few videos to satisfy you guys to keep the channel going and that's why we are here those 12 years feel like one year because i've been having so much fun it doesn't feel like work at all i've been having so much fun and i am sure that you guys have been having fun with me yes from your feedback i know that you have been having fun so thank you so much keep doing your part while i keep doing my part you know this youtube thing is a symbiotic relationship you guys give me feedback to help me know the kind of content you like and then i give it to you the way you like it <laughs> that way everybody is happy win-win for everybody on the agenda today i have my list here the first thing on the agenda today is recommendations on this channel the top three interests of my viewers by that i mean uh, what my viewers are interested in what they come to this channel for what they expect to see on this channel is number one cooking and it has to be nigerian cooking yeah i tell you <laughs> you guys know that i have the most authentic nigerian taste buds in this world the very emotive taste buds so i believe that anything i taste that is not a nigerian meal that i try and like it that you guys will like it too but <laughs> even when i try to sneak in such recipes on this channel you guys will just leave me hanging you just leave that recipe for me and maybe 1000 other people to watch and enjoy <laughs> you guys don't like it at all all you guys want on this channel is soup 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 fufu fufu fufu, fufu rice 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 any other thing is babash you're not interested <laughs> so i know what you guys like and then number two you guys like life in nigeria specifically village life in nigeria yeah i know this because whenever i bring you village vlogs christmas vlogs anything about the village in fact even when i bring you vlogs from lagos you're not interested but whenever i bring you guys village vlogs this channel comes alive in a way i can't even explain you guys are more open to me you guys tell me your stories you guys take me to the innermost part of your being and i love it like the kind of deep conversations we have in the comment section whenever i upload village vlogs oh my god i love it so much i've gotten to know a lot of you you know you guys watch me you know me more than i know you some of you you don't even have a profile picture <laughs> if you don't have a profile picture and you're a family member here please make it a point of duty to upload a profile picture today i beg make i they see the face of the person that I, I, I that i'm talking with in the comment section <laughs> yeah please what i'm trying to say is that you guys take me to your innermost being you take me you you tell me deep stories about yourself that i feel like i know you just from your name alone without even knowing what you look like so this is what uh, the connection we, we make a special kind of connection with the village vlogs and i love it then the third interest of my viewers on this channel is that i've noticed that 
Nigerians that live in Nigeria are interested in life abroad. Uh, not Spain, eh? I live in Spain. They're not interested in life in Spain. A lot of them are not because, you know, uh, they know rate us. Nigeria is not the rate those that live in Spain. <laughs> I know I'm joking because Spain is not an English speaking country. Yeah, it makes sense. Uh, the official language of Nigeria is English. So it makes sense if you want to relocate, you look to a country that speaks English. That way you can integrate faster. I mean, uh, somebody that is moving to a new country has a lot to contend with. So if you strike out learning a new language from that, uh, the person will integrate faster. Language is a major barrier to settling into a new country. Okay, you have a lot to learn. The idiosyncrasies, the way things work there, uh, their culture, and then you're coming to learn a new language on top. You'll be lost for the first six months. You don't want to do that. So. Yeah, I understand that a lot of Nigerians want to move to English-speaking countries. So Nigeria is looking to Japa. Yeah, it has been Japa season in Nigeria since 2015, since Buhari came in as president. And immediately after this election, this sham election that we recently had, yeah, the, the, those that have been sitting on the fence, you know, should I Japa or not, that helped them make the decision. In fact, I saw a post sometime this week, early this week, where someone was saying that, she was passing the immigration office uh, in Nigeria. The immigration office is like the passport office where you get your international passport. Uh, and there was so much crowd there. There were a lot of people there. The person is asking, hey, how many people remain in this country? <laughs> so uh, a lot of people that have been thinking about it. Yeah, this, these sham elections have like pushed them there. So they're going to get their passports to Java. So they're interested in life in the USA, Canada, UK. And maybe Australia, I don't know. Australia is an English-speaking country. I, but I don't think people are that interested in it because it's so far. So why am I speaking all these long ranges for you today? Talking about interest and no interest. It's because the channels I'm going to recommend to you today upload content around these interests that I mentioned. You know, these days on YouTube, somebody may be working so hard on their YouTube channel uploading premium content but it's hard to be seen because there's a lot of content in our faces and i tell you if you already enjoy the content on this channel because i know that people that watch this video are people that are family members in you know, a family members so if you already enjoy the content on this channel i guarantee you you enjoy the content from these channels you guys know that the last thing i'll ever do is to recommend a channel to tell you to go and watch out of pity no i'm only ever going to recommend channels that i know that you'll benefit from that the chances of you being interested in these channels are high and you enjoy the content the first channel is lady c kitchen yay lady c kitchen uploads recipes a, a, a majority of them upload recipes because yeah that's your top interest on this channel uploads recipes you can see look at all the your malicious thumbnails madre mia look at this plantain one i'm eyeing it looks like what i will try this weekend for my kids look at that soup what soup is that obono soup yeah lots of videos there she's so hard working pastries anything you can think of and what i think a lot of you will enjoy is that she uploads short straight to the point sweet recipes look at this one this one is even one minute 20 seconds yeah for those of you that prefer short cherry wearer videos this is the channel for you she'll give it to you straight on straight straight fast quick yeah for those of you that say i don't like this your long videos you talk too much <laughs> this is the channel for you so please subscribe to her you can also see that she is yet to attain the all important milestone of 1000 subscribers you know on this youtube if you don't have 1000 subscribers there's a lot of perks there's a lot of um, settings that are not available to you so please help her reach this all important milestone first of all go to her channel watch a few of her videos and if you are genuinely interested in her content then subscribe to her I, she needs about 500 more subscribers to attain this all important milestone and i believe that at least 500 there are five more than 500 people watching this video now that will be interested in this i mean if you're interested in watching this video uh, you will be interested in her content so please check her out if you genuinely like it because it's actually better for a youtube channel that you watch the content consistently all the time follow the channel bumper to bumper without subscribing than you subscribe and you don't watch yeah it's better you make sure first that you enjoy this content that anytime you see an upload from that channel you click to watch it 
before subscribing than jumping in subscribing and going yeah ghosting the channel <laughs> you won't be watching yeah it's actually better for the channel so please go check her out i'm begging you the second person is real benny's kitchen yeah i've actually eaten benny's food before and it's only by the grace of god that i did not bite my fingers <laughs> i did not bite it off i bit them but i didn't bite them off so benny cooks so much she feeds five men yeah her husband and four grown boys yeah go to her channel look at that afang soup calabar authentic calabar afang soup pastries onion pepper and onion for four she even has a weight loss this is a mother of four boys four grown boys but look at what she looks like so go to her and get those tips of how to remain in shape she lives in Portacot, Nigeria, so she uploads uh, shopping videos in Portacot market. So please go check her out. She's so up and doing. She uploads at least three times a week or so. In fact, the reason why she has uh, her latest video four days ago is because at the moment she's enjoying her wedding anniversary with her husband. So that's why she hasn't uploaded. So she's enjoying herself. She's catching fun. So please go check out her content again she's another person that is yet to attain the 1000 subscriber milestones so please go check out her content if you enjoy it subscribe okay the next person is Nengi's kitchen look at look at look at those thumbnails look at all those river rhine soups recipes madre mia you know i often see debates on the internet about which tribe makes the best soup and when I look at the responses, they will be saying Igbo, this, that, and I'll be like, these people have not tasted river rhyme, like river rhyme, south, south recipes. So she's giving you the best south side <laughs> before I bite my tongue. So Nengi gives you the best south, south recipes. And congratulations, Nengi. Yeah, I just, I'm just saying that you've attained your 1000 subscribers. Yay. So guys, uh, it doesn't stop at 1000 subscribers go check out her content if you enjoy her videos please subscribe it doesn't stop there are so many milestones to reach yeah she also does food art with fufu look at that you're malicious the next person is popessa lifestyle yay look at that pasta hey oh ho to come in here and be hit by that pasta madre mia look at that moist beans recipe yeah go check her out she uploads recipes i can see that she is throwing in some vlogs as well but look at recipes straight to the point recipes as well you can see that short and sweet this one is two minutes long so before you know it you binged on 10 videos so look at that moi moi hey it looks the leaves look so fresh madre yeah drinks as well so please go check her out check out her content you will love it Ido's Kitchen, another recipe channel. I, I told you, I warned you, didn't I? That there are mostly recipes. Ido uploads, look at that red velvet cake. Ido uploads uh, pastries as well as meals. Look at those cookies. Yeah. Go check her out, please. Go check her out. I'll put the links of every single channel that I'll mention below. Also, if they comment below, you can click on their profile picture to go visit their channel to check out their content. Happy Licious series, yay! Happiness is another content creator that uploads food videos. Look, check out those thumbnails. Look at look at my favorite juice in the world, carrot juice. Yeah, carrot juice that does you your body well. <laughs> so yeah, please go check her out. Uh, Happiness, you're you're an up and doing YouTuber, but I see that your latest content is one month ago. I hope everything is okay with you. I hope it's just life, life in. Um, then Ulelu's Kitchen, yeah, Root. This is not the first time I'm talking about Root. Root continues to upload your malicious recipes her, in her with her fast-paced content. Like once you click on her video, you won't even know when the video finished. You'll be like, I need to rewatch this. <laughs> yeah, it's fast-paced. Boom, 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 boom. Blossoms with Hope. Blossoms with Hope also uploads recipes videos. Check out that delicious chicken skewers and that peppered pomo. Madre mia. She also uploads vlogs about her life in the US. So if you're interested in life in the US, please go check her out recipes and life in the US. Then we have Nelly's Corner. Nelly's Corner is another recipe channel, but recipes channel with a difference. She uploads baby food recipes. All my daughters on this channel that are awaiting Omogo, that are in life for Omogo, 
go check her out you can see that she uploads everything about baby 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 and she has a tom brown recipe we just i think two videos ago we talked about tom brown here you go she has tom brown recipes so go check her out please go check look at everything about baby this is this is kind of channel that i like because once you like content about babies once you come in here you will watch and watch and watch and watch content about babies you'll learn a lot look at this one carrot pap this is the first time i'm hearing about carrot pap so please go check her out i'm begging you go check her out her, her content yeah all my all my daughters that are in line for more i know you i know you need this content so please go the next one is Ogum series Ogum series if you enjoy videos about life in nigeria Ogum series is your channel you can see at the top of her channel she says family food fitness lifestyle so Ogum series is your lady go there you love her yeah even her uh the way she presents her videos like she says things that she had <laughs> if i no. she says things as it is she's my agolo sister so we, we don't mince words when we want to talk yeah we know they carry water for mouth when we want to talk so we say boy <laughs> so go check her out she does fitness look at her working out this woman is a hard worker like she works out and she's a hard worker you know there, there's a difference between the two i tell you this woman at oh gombiko how many hours do you have in your own day i feel that your own day is 72 hours you have 72 hours in a day because how can one person be doing all this she's a youtuber she's a mom of three boys she's a caterer yeah she cooks for people even in large quantities you guys know how i have a phobia for cooking in large quantities she does that she's a civil servant right a civil servant or yeah she works in an office how can one person be doing this and she works out consistently so if you need motivation for working out she, she's got you covered she even makes videos about youtube so if you're a youtuber go get her tips go and check out her, her content you will love her and then Ujilin Space is full-time vlogger. Yeah, uh, she vlogs about her life in Nigeria. So you can see vlog, vlog, vlog. She tells you, gives you up-to-date info about what is going on in Nigeria. You know, Nigeria is a country where every day you wake up, something is happening. There's something to talk about. So go check her out. If you want to stay abreast of, look at Odara. Look at Odara. She's doing us longer truth with. Go check her out. You, you will love her. And then Blessing Anyam. Let's uh, recently moved to the US. You know, this thing about Japan, people like us that have lived, for instance, in Spain for so many years, uh, you can't relate to my Spain moving to Spain story because when I moved here, what was happening when I moved here? Or even when I moved to the UK, for instance, if I start telling you my story about when I moved to the UK, you will not relate because this happened many years ago. The information I'll give you is outdated, but people like blessing that recently moved back blessing you're talking about china here i don't know but yeah i know that she recently moved to the usa from china but yeah blessing explain to us why you're still talking about china but so what i'm trying to say is that those that recently moved to the country you want to move to are the best people to watch because they will be sharing with you all their experiences about buying their first car uh, finding their first accommodation or house finding schools for their children and all those things you know so they're the best people to watch rather than those of us like that our stories are outdated that's what i'm trying to say so go check out her content that's all the people that i'm i'm going to recommend to you today if i miss out if you think that you should be here and i miss out on your channel please forgive me uh, uh, these are the people that came to mind when i was getting ready for this video everybody that i mentioned today please send me an email my email address is always in the description box of every single one of my videos send me an email because i have other things other behind the scenes things that i want to tell you about your channel that i saw as soon as i landed on your channel while i was getting ready for this video so i i need to tell you, you know all these click click things that you need to do on your channel it, they're not big stuff but they help on the long run yeah so send me an email and I'll, I'll do that in private because the rest of the family members that are not content creators are not interested in that so moving on what happened on this channel in 2022 i made a mini video like this last year where i when i came back from my long break there was a time i took a six week break <laughs> from this channel so i made kind of a mini uh family meeting video and where i showed you the gaps in my consistency so i wasn't that consistent on this channel last year i was saying that i didn't upload a lot of videos in 2021 but i uploaded even less videos 
in 2022 yet 2022 beat all the records of 2021 i got a lot more views in 2022 than in 2021 even when i uploaded about 10 videos less than i did in 2021 that takes me back to the reason why this channel is thriving i mentioned earlier that you guys help me work smart on this channel rather than hard i know consistency is good but there are times when you can't meet up because of things that are going on in your private life because of your career because of your job and everything so if you lay the right foundation on your channel you can afford to take long breaks like a whole month last year i took two long breaks and one mini break the first one was in january when i had mm -mm, in february when i had covid you guys saw it the second one was for three weeks or so when i was taking the first exam the second one was for six weeks which coincided with my second exam and summer that's what i keep saying if you no matter what you upload on your channel make sure that the number of evergreen content you have on your channel supersedes like out is much more than like 80 20 that's why what i what, what i go with 80 20 make sure that the evergreen content on your channel is 80% and random content you upload for fun or vlogs or whatever is 20% I know why I'm saying this like I said earlier you guys love my village vlogs so much those vlogs make this channel come alive like like resurrection <laughs> those are the kinds of videos where once they go live a lot more people will click on it as soon as they see it yeah and then come and watch it it, it helps the channel get maybe a lot of views overnight and all that but when it dies it dies bata bata. but you see the evergreen content when you upload it it may not it may look like it's not performing so well but come back a month later you will see the graph up like this steadily up when the graph is steadily up that means that it's steadily getting views and that's steadily getting money and that's steadily getting exposure and that's that's forever content if I open my analytics for you now, you will see that actually let's open it. Let's see because when we're talking about opening, opening, let's just open it and see. Okay, look at, I was even saying that I took three breaks last year. I took four breaks. <laughs> I missed out on this one during December. The last time I uploaded in December was on the 12th of December because I was hoping when we get home, I'll start uploading Christmas vlogs as soon as we uh, arrive in the village, but my laptop packed up while we were still in lagos before we even went to the village so that didn't happen so last year look at my top 10 videos this meat pie in a sandwich toaster that i uploaded in march last year so about a year now look at how many views so it got me one point something million views uh, just one video from last year so from time to time upload iconic content on your channel this is what will keep your channel going if you you hit the jackpot of iconic content iconic in the sense that uh, nobody has done it before and you did it, it worked, you shared it, and it's also an evergreen content. So a recipe video is always an evergreen content. People will always come back to watch it. Yeah, people will always discover it for years to come. And then you see this uh, vegetable soup with ugo and water leaves <laughs> from 2019. It's still, it's like number two, because like I always say, I don't count these uh, flavor levels translation I did for the community. I don't count this because this is not the kind of content I normally do on my channel. Yeah. So this vegetable soup, that's a decaying con soup, is number two. After how many years? 2019, 2021, 20, after three years of upload, this is the kind of content I want you to be uploading on your channel. Yeah. So last year, again, one of the um, series I did last year was the cook with me cook like a student series you guys know that every year i do a series iconic series on my channel look at how many views it got me a video i uploaded about one year ago 477 thousand views trust me this video did not get this number of views in one day it didn't go viral in fact i have a phobia for viral videos i'll talk about that later i have a phobia for viral videos so i don't even like a situation where i upload a video it goes viral overnight i don't like it i prefer that graph that slope that is pointing upwards 
that's what i prefer and that's what all these that's how you know an evergreen content once the graph is pointing up like the upwards like that the first 24 hours or the first 48 hours just know that it will bring you the wrong audience to your channel that that video trust me <laughs> again this coconut oil video from 2020 again oh from 2019 five ingredient uh, fried rice from 2019 these uh, pancakes from 2020 this coconut oil from 2016 seven years isn't that shocking <laughs> it still made it to the top 10 offense seller video 2019 so you can see how many 2019 videos do you see here these are iconic content the more you upload fresh content on your channel the more youtube even resurrects the old channels that are relevant to the fresh content you're uploading even if that fresh content you uploaded does not get a lot of views it will still be resurrecting your old iconic evergreen content that's why i, I always say if, yes i know that everybody is uploading vlogs about themselves meanwhile inside those vlogs there are some valuable content you shared maybe you're, you you shared how you went to market inside that vlog why don't you try making a standalone video about going to the market because that going to market video is hidden inside a vlog but when you bring it out and make it as a follow me to market video or shop with me video or going to nigeria market whatever you want to title it that will make that content that was hidden inside the vlog a an evergreen content that will continue to get you views for years so that's what i keep saying make sure that in whatever you do upload iconic content on your channel okay uh, one important thing i wanted to say is my stand on youtube shorts this is about lesson learned you know every time this is not the first time i'm talking about shorts i always talk about shorts youtube shorts in a negative way <laughs> yeah but last year i decided to upload one shot on my channel because i i told you guys last year that i am never ever going to upload shorts on my channel because i've seen how it has destroyed other channels and i've seen what the big youtubers are doing on their channels the very big youtubers are doing on your channel they separate the shorts and i've always been of the opinion that youtube has no business putting shots uh, like mixing shots with long form content no the perfect thing for them would have been to separate the two into two different platforms youtube shorts and normal youtube just like they did with youtube kids but yeah they didn't do that they put everything together causing confusion from what i've seen and i continue to see channels where shorts has destroyed on these channels their long form content no longer get views even their short uh, videos i uploaded one short video on my channel uh to find out because i've been against shorts been against shorts based on uh, what is happening on other people's channel i am someone that learns from other people's mistakes or other people's experiences i don't wait for something to happen to me before i learn from it so i've observed other channels and i've seen how shorts destroy their channel in that you may upload shorts it will go viral and it will bring you all the wrong audience to your channel that's what happens you bring you a lot of people will subscribe on your channel you may get thousands of tens of thousands of subscribers so what happens is youtube will make this video go viral a lot of people will see it and they subscribe because they are there are a lot of people that they watch just one video on your channel and they subscribe i don't like that kind of subscription that's why when i was recommending channels i told you please make sure you enjoy you you genuinely enjoy your their content before you subscribe because there are some people that just watch one video on your channel and they subscribe and then when you upload the next video which is not related to the one they subscribed on they will unsubscribe and nothing kills a video yeah individual videos more than when you upload a video a lot of people unsubscribe on that video immediately youtube will see that video as a bad video and it will reduce the the impressions on that video it will it will reduce the number of people it shows it instantly that video will die some of those videos if it's an evergreen video they may resurrect later but we all know that once a video dies in the first 24 to 48 hours of upload even if it resurrects later it's not going to perform as well as if if it starts getting views from day one yeah so that's what happened so i decided to upload a short video to actually experience it on my channel uh, while being apprehensive i said okay let me just do it so that it will not be as if i'm talking about what i don't know that it, what, how can you talk about something that you have not tried before so i uploaded one video uh, but i made sure one thing i made sure was that that video was related to my uh content when you go to my channel go to the shots you'll see it is related to, to recipes while not being a recipe because i, I 
I wasn't aiming to get a viral video. I do. That's the last thing I want on, on my channel. Overnight viral video. I've experienced it before and I don't like it. I think, I even think that my channel is still suffering from the effects of that. This thing happened many years ago, at least five years ago. So I wasn't looking to get a super viral video. No, I just wanted to look at the analytics and see how, uh, what happens from the time you upload a short video to when it dies. And the kind of uh, audience it will bring to my channel so it was just to confirm my fears and my all my fears were confirmed as soon as i uploaded this video the graph was pointing up like you showed it to too many persons within the first hour so it was getting views getting views getting views and guess what on this channel the average uh, likes to dislikes ratio because i was sitting there watching it to see how it behaved I even made screen grabs, which I saved on my laptop, but as you all know, my laptop died at Christmas. I sent the SSD to a data recovery company. It's still there. I thought that they would have returned it by now, but yeah, since January, I sent it to them. It's still there. So the graph was straight up like that. I don't like that. I was like, my heart was doing ding, ding, ding. <laughs> and then the likes to dislikes ratio. The average likes to dislike ratio on this channel is, is in the upper 90s, 98% or something like that. The first one hour, like dislike, 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 it was like 60, 40. So actually YouTube was showing this video to people that didn't like this kind of content. For them to actually click dislike, 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 a lot of dislike, it means that it was being shown to the wrong audience and they were subscribing. Hey, that, was, that was the scariest one. Subscribe. I said I don't want to subscribe. I wish there's a way. I've said it before. I wish there's a way to turn off subscription on specific videos. Anyway, yeah, I said okay, no problem. Let them subscribe. This is just an experiment. And then, p -p 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 before you know it, the video died. It peaked. So it went. Oosh. If you see the graph, it's like this, like that. I, I, I still have that one. I'll put it on here. Later, after one week or so, I went to take a look at the audience because. On this channel, normally for normal videos, the my top audience come from the USA, Nigeria, UK, Canada, then maybe Germany, uh, yeah, a few European countries. So that's where my top audience on this channel come from. But do you know the top audience for for <laughs> for that video? India. <laughs> no. Uh, on this channel, Indians don't watch me a lot. I don't prepare Indian recipes. Maybe one or two from time to time, once in a while, I'll get a comment from an Indian that is married to a Nigerian. This is what is happening with shorts. YouTube will send your shorts to people that you're not targeting. I don't want that. I want Facebook to show my videos to people that are interested, genuinely interested in my content. People that are already watching my content before. I don't want him to go and try and be showing it to, no. I prefer a situation where show my content, even if it's a small group of people, show my content, first of all, to people that are already watching my content. Why show my content to people that don't like that kind of content? For them to arrive, dislike, 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 just because they don't like the content. They genuinely don't. I'm not angry that they are disliking the video, but it just proves that YouTube was showing the video to people that don't normally like this kind of content. And I don't like that. That's not good for a channel. And those that subscribe on that, that video did not get a lot of views so thank god that's why i didn't get a, a bunch of people that subscribe that will later on subscribe when i upload the next video yeah thank god so just imagine if that video has gotten like 1 million views that will greatly increase the number of subscribers subscribers that wouldn't normally enjoy your content so this this is what happens your video go, gets a lot of views from the wrong audience and they subscribe when they subscribe when you upload your next video either they unsubscribe or they don't click to watch because they're not interested and when they unsubscribe that video will die so this is what is this is what from one i just need one video to confirm my my beliefs about shorts so i'm not telling you not to upload shorts please far from it i'm just remember this is a family meeting where i tell you what happened on my channel what I will not be doing again on my channel, what I would be doing and all that. So if you're a YouTuber, do with this information, whatever you will, but I'm just sharing with you my experience, what I noticed with my 12 year old YouTube eyes. <laughs> if it's working for your channel, fine, but I think it will kill my channel. Yeah, based on the type of content I upload on my channel. Enough of shots. What next for this channel? I, I've noticed that you guys don't like recipes anymore. <laughs> Is it that I've uploaded all the recipes? I've taught you everything. You've learned everything. You don't need it anymore. Yeah. I understand. Sometimes when I upload iconic recipes, for instance, last year I uploaded a goosey soup. 
and of course the the meat pie in a sandwich toaster one a goosey so the student series did well even though they are normal content but because i i put the student spin on it how to cook on the chip it did well then i uploaded a stew recipe turkey stew that's that, that recipe did well stew is one recipe that is still challenging for a lot of people so i believe anytime i have something new to share and i upload a stew video yeah you, you guys will want to watch it in case there's something new there so i guess i'll continue to follow the journey with you guys uh, reading your comments knowing what you want and I'm praying for the grace to, you know, put the videos together in the way that you enjoy them and continue uploading. Whenever I go to Nigeria, I bring you village vlogs because you guys love it. You guys love village vlogs. For my Flow Finance channel, I already said that I have a project this year based on us getting a good government installed. We are still on it. So I don't know that one is still up in the air. Let me know in the comments what you think. Is this channel going in the di right direction? <laughs> is this uh, uh, am i meeting your expectations <laughs> of what to upload do you have a request yeah i saw some requests recently do you have a request bring it to my attention and i will do my best to upload it if i if it's something that i can prepare and upload you guys know how it is yeah i will do my best to upload it i don't know what else to say except to say bye bye see you soon let me know your thoughts in the comments below.